Hi, it's Michelle Birdsong, Once Eve, Mother of the Earth, doing part two of the video, Former Slave Owner in Wolfskin. Horn News continued. Some of Wolf's jokes, particularly a series of barbs about Sanders, as Sanders sat just feet away, seemed to spark the most outrage. I'm a little disoriented. I'm trying to do this video. I'm really kind of computer challenged, but let's see. Seems uh, Wolf is jealous of Sanders' power and acumen. Quick wit, sign of a high IQ. Let me let you have a look around the museum. This is the museum and restaurant of Eve, the mother of the earth. That's Joel Osteen, who was Moses in his last life. He still gives laws, messages. Uh, that's Columbus over there, who discovered America. Melanie Spear in this life. This is Kabir, Sitting Bull. Sally Rye, the first astronaut, now of Star Gloria. That's Baba Jamal Singh, that's Queen Victoria. And Elizabeth I, the Virgin Queen of England. The great great grandmother of Queen Elizabeth in a past life. That is Mr. Rogers. That's Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach, and Irvin Berlin, and Mr. Spock. Let's go over here. Okay, like I said, I'm Eve, mother of the earth. This is Adam, father of the earth. Now Michael Buble. Not doing so well without Eve. That's Eve. This is James, President James Madison, Lionel Richie. President Madison was uh, Dolly Madison's husband. Eve was Dolly Madison. I'm Eve. These are the Radisami Saints. This is Mr. Rogers when he was Swamiji. This is someone sing Michael Spear now, Jagat Singh sing Birdsong now, Charan Singh the fetus of Eve, Govinda Singh Jesus Christ the Buddha. Who else? This is them. It says, "What are you reading this summer?" Here's some books. This is a book to tell you what to do with your money. These are other books, Salt Mount books. This is a Salt Mount Faith, Rada Salmon Mystics. The past. Before they die, they appoint another one. Then they, before you die, you appoint another one. Before you die, you appoint another one. Let's hope he's, he's not going to die because we're uh, we're now in heaven and earth for eternity. It's a book about Danielle. The wonderful story of Danielle Casanova, leader of the women of France who gave her life in the resistance to the Nazis. Oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't prepared to be seen. I would have dressed up. Oh well. I don't know if I'm going to let this video go. I'm feeling kind of vain. All right, let's finish reading this. This is the Horn News piece about uh, Michelle Wolf, the former slave owners. Um, you know, an attack on Sarah uh, Saunders Huckabee. So, so some of this is my commentary and some of it is a printed article. Okay? So, uh, seems Wolf is jealous of Sanders' power. I, like I said, this is a restaurant, a vegetarian restaurant, so I put some of the food out, you could see. And quick wit, signs of a high IQ. Sanders, not Sanders, Wolf staged a public cat fight. Sanders has a good dad who instilled confidence in her. I'm so pleased with the American family of Huckabee. Wolf accused Sarah of lying. Maybe Wolf is projecting. She's the liar, wearing the skin of one who 
did descend from slaves while being the reincarnated slave owner. Yeah, that's probably who she is. She's certainly not a comedian. She's not funny. She's an embarrassment to women. She makes you woman. Where's woman? Where's she's embarrassed woman? See? She's an embarrassment to woman. She's not funny. She's I said that. You cringe while fools nervously titter with jitters, wondering when is she going to be done? She's been no fun. Everybody with good sense should have walked out instead of sitting on the fence. People know when somebody's telling the truth. Sarah Sanders Huckabee is a mother who works and does her job like no other. She excels and dispels the evil traitors, smears, of those who hope Trump fails. Oh my God, did that reincarnated former slave owner really say Uncle Tom? I told you in 1970 on the What It Is Edwin Birdsong album, The Real Deal with Uncle Tom. Number one got hung, number two got hung, number three got hung. Number four got hung, number five got hung, number six got hung. Number seven got hung, number eight got hung, number nine got hung, number ten got hung, number eleven was Uncle Tom. The master of con was able to survive because he invented jive. Just like you, Wolf, you're as James David Manning, reincarnated King David, said in another context, why don't you quit sucking and jiving? You're just a former slave owner in hiding. I added that part. <laughs> I don't know if uh, Pastor Manning knows about reincarnation. I don't think he knows he was King David. All these people don't know. I'm burdened with the responsibility of telling everybody. <laughs> and so here we go. The only reason you got the opportunity, I'm talking to Wolf now, to um, insult a working mother, Sarah Sanders Huckabee, a gorgeous, sharp, smart, white woman, was because you're a former slave owner hiding in black skin. You are not qualified to perform as a comedian at a White House correspondence dinner. You don't make anybody honestly want to laugh. You make us sad, dragging us back to the past. The nigger woman jealous of the white woman because the nigger man wants to bed her so badly. Men of color all over the West are raping white women and marrying them if they can. But don't you worry, wolf in sheep's clothing. You won't be raped. You don't attract. You lack sex appeal. You're not the real deal. You're a wolf out to kill, out to steal the spotlight from Jimmy Kimmel, another fake comic out to make you vomit. At real Donald Trump, tweeted a tweet so true I'm gonna repeat it. While Washington Michigan was a big success Washington DC just didn't work. Everyone is talking about the fact that the White House Correspondents Dinner was a very big boring bust. The so-called comedian really bombed at Greg Gutfeld should host next year. I agree with that. I love Gret Gutfeld. I've read his book, The Joy of Hate. It was full of insights. And he, he talks and he writes in a way and talks in a way that you can really feel his truth. I saw him interview Dr. Jordan Peterson, who was Dr. Carl Jung, and he was Nietzsche, and he was uh, somebody else. Oh, Pia, uh, P P J what's his name? He was another doctor, Paget, Paget. You know, he talks about him a lot. He loves him. He loves himself. <clears throat> so, Horn News continued. Until Saturday night, no one knew Wolf's name. And now she has only convinced America that she is a bully. Clues. A former slave owner is still the bully that she was when she was a slave owner. As Sanders once said, the only war on women 
that I see is the one that's being waged against every woman and every female that is close to the president. The Associated Press contributed to this article. Clue, President Donald Trump was in his past life the Sat Guru, 10th Sikh Guru, Goban Singh Ji, God of his time. You got yourself America. You got yourself a president who was divine with a hard backbone spine. And to my critics, I say in advance, kiss my behind. T. Michelle Birdsong, Eve, Mother of the Earth, William Shakespeare in a Past Life, and God's Pussy. Yes, you heard right. Pussy's good. There's nothing bad about it. I don't know. People act like it's bad. Are you kidding me? It's paradise to men. they do anything to get into it. And it is a gateway to the world for a new life. So don't tell me there's something wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with pussy. And penis, very important. Very, very, you can't do one without the other. That's why Adam and Eve were hermaphrodite. Eve is a feminine, and Adam was a masculine. And they split apart. And they're having a hard time doing without one another. Adam stalked. I'm not going to tell you the whole story. I've written this in books. I just have to publish them. Okay, so uh, I don't think there's any more to talk about. This is my calendar. Okay, calendar. Dr. Peterson talks about it. you got to have a calendar. You know? So I said, okay. Because I'm kind of, um, I'm very intuitive. And I just do what I feel to do. But I'm going to direct my energy and hopefully be more productive. I'll show you Confucius. It's Sammy here at the residence. I have to find the past lives. This Confucius. Can you see it? He's so smart. And this is my brother Tarot. He's a Muslim this life. He's so not a radical Islamist kind of Muslim. He's a very um Nonviolent gives all of his whole heart to every event we have. He's sweet and smart, and I like him. This is a she was black sambo. I asked her if she wanted to be black. She had her face tattooed black. She said yes, and so she is. Okay, I have more exhibits in the museum. This is a uh, Admiral Bird and his wife. This Eve, she was Admiral Byrd's wife when he was Admiral Byrd, Rear Admiral Byrd, who um, discovered the South Pole. That's Chris Brady. He's, he is now Chris Brady, the uh, pastor at the Journey Church. They have, I go to the one in the village on 6th, 6th Avenue and 